Scorpio, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you your reading, love. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mars, and astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments, all right? I love you too. Scorpio, if you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. There's no gender or age here, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy and remember roles can always be reversed. Scorpio, I thank you for like, share, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you so very much. We're pulling from the Queen of the Moon Oracle for you, Scorpio. Scorpio, please. Thank you. Action. Okay. Um, for the numerology studiers, this is number 15. Uh, action, uh, self-explanatory, absolutely. You're definitely making powerful moves right now. And if you're not, you will be soon. Uh, what you want to be mindful of is mm, you know, operating in... Uh, Operating in an energy of um, hmm, kind of like fake it till you make it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, that's how I want to say that because the void is here. You know, um, it you, whatever it is, you're overcoming it. You know, it's like you're whatever saddens you or you feel like you lost or you feel like you should have and you don't have. You know, you're definitely making moves. You're not letting it stop your stride. You're not letting it bring you down. You know, you're still taking the pleasure uh, in life. You're still feeling powerful. And I like that. But, you know, there is some concern and it's a bit, you know, troubling here. It may be work related. Huh. Or financial um, worry. Okay, maybe you're losing an income and you're kind of like worrying on how this is going to affect your life. Even though you're not showing it to the world, there is some concern. Okay. Some changes. We're going to do your spread here. See what we can see. Scorpio energy, please. Scorpio, please. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, you know, Scorpio, this doesn't feel like you. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not. This feels like a hijack. Somebody's really heavy in your energy. Um, it could be an air sign, but I will say this. This is someone who is operating in their truth. Whether you agree with it or not, it's it doesn't change what the fact is, what the situation is. This is one of those it is what it is kind of things, okay? Uh, crown the energy, please. Crown the energy, please. Scorpio, where are you? I just feel like, like you're just in limbo. Three of uh, cups crowning. I have to mention a third party situation with the three of cups um, could be an issue. Uh, I have to also say that third party issue doesn't mean somebody's cheating. Okay, when you guys hear that. That just means that your partner is giving energy to uh, someone or something that should be going to you. So your partner can be in a garage fixing a car and they're supposed to be with you. You know, they could be working triple, double, quadruple times and shifts. They should be with you. That's third party energy. Okay. 
um but crowning this is it feels like third party even though it's celebratory it doesn't feel real like this action energy that i feel like you're acting in i feel like you're like just you know faking it till you make it um trying to i guess hide the pain you know or overcome the concern and I, i'm not mad at that at all that's great but in the mean and in between time there's still this void that's un uh it's unfulfilled unfilled you, you know what i mean what's working against scorpio right now what's in the way what's working against scorpio thank you the king of wands in reverse this is an energy feeling completely out of focus, you know? Um, it could even feel like a little lost, you know? I, I don't even know what I'm doing, where I'm going. I'm just going, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know I'm going. I don't know where I'm going, but damn it, I'm going. And I'm gonna be sharp when I get there, wherever that is. But, you know, what may be working against you is that you feel like you the plan uh, that you had in play, it didn't work out. You know, whatever the plan was, with maybe it's time now to focus on plan B, okay? Where is this coming from? The Ace of Cups. All in the name of love. All in the name of something beautiful. That's how the song goes. Ace of Cups is um, emotional, uh, divine energy, you know? Um, this is a love triangle, Scorpio, and you are either you or your person is faking love uh or faking happiness like are you settling is that what you're telling me that's kind of like how this is now i'm getting it okay you're settling scorpio you know not to do that Mm, mm, mm. You know, you maybe you're saying, you know, I don't call it settling. I call it, you know, picking the best situation for me, the best person for me. But whoever you chose ha doesn't fill the void. You can't deny the void. You know, I don't know what it is, whether they're maybe they're good. Maybe they're kind. Maybe they're fun or funny. But they're lacking something, um, some type of connection that you had with somebody. They don't have it. I'm not kidding. And you, it's like you're just, you know, going along for the ride. Just like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, take my lemon and make um, some damn good lemonade. All right. And I ain't mad at you. Where's this going? That's pretty cool, Scorp. Hello. World energy might have some travel ahead of you. Or move, yeah, and you, you're you going to make some lemonade. That's what you're saying. I'm going to make some damn lemonade, all right? You're standing your ground, nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. You're, make, you're creating your own happiness, fulfillment, balance. And um, even though you can't deny this void, you're working through it. And you know what? This is some grown stuff right here. I commend you. I really do. I think this is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I still think you want to talk to somebody or somebody who really wants to talk to you about uh, the distance between you, you know, but either you're holding back or they're holding back because of the distance. You know, this maybe, you know, somebody at a distance or whatever, or they're just not talking to you or you don't talk to them as much. And it's kind of like, well, I don't really talk to them. There's no sense in talking to them, that kind of thing, you know. So it's hard to play house sometime. I ain't gonna lie, it is hard. Others of you, it's um, it's hard to, you're struggling with choosing. I ain't gonna lie, shoot, Scorps. You're struggling with the choice. It's like, you can we put these both together and make one person? <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Some divine clarity are, is coming in um, to help you, I guess, maybe reevaluate what's value to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, is it the party? 
you know, or is it the investments, that kind of thing. Um, if you're single um, and you've just gotten out of this situation, you're manifesting um, really a whole bunch. I, I just want to be by myself, enjoy my life, heal my life, you know, um, things like that. You're really not focused on love, even though you think about it. You're not, it's not your main focus. Your main focus is yourself, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, some of you are might be getting ready to get a your boss might be getting ready to talk to you about a new project, a new investment, new idea, new department, something like that. Congratulations. Yeah, it looks like it's a it, it will be a lot of work, but it will be worth uh, it will be worth it. Yeah, look at that. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it for you. It'll be lucrative. You know, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, uh, the Aquarius, um, gosh, I don't even know how I'm going to, hold on. I got to watch my mouth because they sensitive. The Aquarius uh, might be going through um, a dark time in their life. You know, um, there's some sickness here. There's some uh, some death here. They might have death in their family. Um, they, they're just going through a hard time. And uh, that energy is really, really thick and heavy. Um, so they might feel like they're weighing you down a little bit. Um, protect yourself. Yeah, don't fight. They Because the Aquarius can't help it with what they're going through right now. And, you know, they might be actually the ones picking fights with you because they can't help it. They're looking for a, a, an escape. That's how this feels to me. They're trying to find a way out, a way through, a way around and they're frustrated, okay? Because they expect it for things to go better than they are and they're not. Just a heads up on that. Um, Scorpio, you know, it seems like your friends are, even though you're not seeing them as much right now, you kind of like, been doing your own thing they're still you know you I, I i like your friend group uh especially what is this a gemini here yeah gemini maybe a, a cancer virgo even with this hermit aries or aquarius i gotta say with the fool um your friend group looks like they're you know waiting for you to call you just been in you know mia lately yeah You've been MIA, but they're ready when you are. Stop stressing, okay? Stop stressing about money and abundance and family. You know, if you're going to make the choice, stand by it. Stand 10 toes down on it. If you have a void that you can't fill, then acknowledge it and, you know, um, have a conversation with whoever it is. You know, if you're the one... Uh, receiving that call, that's why that person is reaching out to you that you haven't talked to at the same time because they have a void that they can't fill without you, you know? Um, other than that, I mean, looking pretty good, babe. Looking pretty good. All right, Scorps, I'm gonna leave this here. This is actually not too bad, you know? Um, just stay focused, stay true, stay factual. You know, if you are met with some type of issue where you feel like you're losing your passion, you're losing your mojo, you know, something like that, that's going to come to an end soon and you're going to rebalance out. Okay. Um, yeah, but if you're the one with the void, you know, address it because it's not going to just go away. All right. Everything. Yeah. You'll have some great days. You'll have some fun days, but then there'll be some nights where you still have that void. Okay. All right. I hope this helps. If any event you said, look, green eyes, you don't know me. You don't know what you're talking about. This is not my life. I understand. I'm okay with that. 
Please check your moon or rising sign this time. Don't take the energy with you if it's not yours. Leave it here for another score. Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you're notified of future readings. It is absolutely free to do so. It does support the channel, okay? Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.